Davon, how, how different does this feel, year feel from last year for you? Um, the game has slowed down a lot tremendously. Um, the coaches are doing a, a great job putting me in the right positions to make plays and, and make me feel comfortable where I'm at. So going into year two, I feel a lot more comfortable, a lot more confident. And just knowing that, you know, still stay hungry, still still got to work like, you know, year one. But to know that um, I got a year under my belt makes me feel kind of good. What are some of the areas that they, they're placing you in to make you feel a little more comfortable? What are they doing to make you feel more comfortable? Um, you know, they just put me in a position just to, to, to be myself and to make plays, where, whether it's closer to the ball, whether it's deep. Um, just helping me build my confidence by just communicating with me, uh, making sure you know I know what to do, uh, when to do it, knowing what what landmarks I need to make, and, and, and just just no more rookie mistakes. You know, um, making sure I don't make the same mistakes last year's, and just improve from there. How valuable is it for you um, to get a lot of work with the ones, you know, ones and twos so far the first few days? I mean, oh, it's, it's helping tremendously. You know, going against, you know, Hertz and, and Smith and all those great, tremendous athletes, um, you know, I feel like the, the better the competition, the better I perform. And I feel like that's the, that's the, the, the epitome of how I play. Um, coming from Clemson and coming from my high school, we always played against the best. So um, it always brought the best out of me. So that's how I always wanted to compete, um, is just go against the best against the best and, and go out there and show that I belong. What's it been like? Take up boxing, and how has that helped you on the field? Um, I, I just was watching it uh, over the off season, and decided to just give it a try because I seen um, what put what what uh, really got me into it was Damian Lillard. I seen him um, on social media boxing, and I was like, why is he boxing? And um, I did a little bit of studies, and it gets you in great shape. So I, I took a try. And I actually fell in love with it. It's actually one of my big hobbies. I do it with uh, Dustin, one of the strength coaches, um, after practice. And I just, you know, just fell in love with it. I wanted to get better. I sucked at it at first. And one thing I do is I never quit. Anything that I start, I finish. And I always want to get better. And I wanted to be the best at what I do, no matter what it is. So um, I felt like my technique was sloppy. My footwork was sloppy. And I feel like I took boxing serious. Um, and, and made it one of my hobbies so I can get better at that so it can help me ultimately get better on the field. Do you have a favorite boxer? I got a few. Uh, my favorite boxer right now is Javante Davis. Um, I like Devin Haney, um, Jared Anderson. I got a few of them young guys out there that's hungry. As you were coming up in Richmond, what did you know of Anthony Harris then? And how has that relationship developed since you've been here? Um, Anthony went to Verona. And I went to Hollis Springs, so he was like a OG. You know, this is year eight or seven for him, and you know, this is year two for me, so he was like an OG to me. Um, I didn't know much about him personally, but I just knew he was a great athlete. And, you know, seeing the things that he did at the Vikings was tremendously, you know, motivating to, to see. You know, he was a starter. Uh, he had one season where he had eight picks, uh, pick off Aaron Rodgers, and I was a big fan of him growing up. and. It was just amazing to see, you know, a guy from my area to, to do such great things in the league. And it just motivated me to, to, to go do the same exact things. Hey, Kayvon, to circle back to the boxing, do you find it helps with your footwork? Can you translate to football? Is it more just a, a conditioning thing? Both. Um, I feel like, you know, moving your feet in, in, in different ways of, in, in a boxing aspect, um, is basically like short lateral movements. And a lot of times you're in football, you know, it's a hundred yard field, but sometimes you play in small spaces. And I feel like it helps with my reaction time with my feet and just, just my hands, um, you know, working on getting the ball out, stripping the ball, doing everything that I can to, to create turnovers as well. Um, because, you know, you got to throw a punch the box. And sometimes um, in football, you know, you see Marlon Humphreys, you know, always punching at the ball and getting the ball out and just using those type of things to, to elevate my game as well. How are you approaching the, the competition with the other safeties opposite Anthony? What do you mean? Um, just competition for playing time, competition to fill in for Rodney, mm. getting more reps. Um, we, we, we all brotherhood. We all come together and, and learn from each other. Um, me and Anthony like, have really, really been close and, and learning from each other. Um, you know, he's a vet, so 
just soaking up all the knowledge that he have. Um, Rodney is always on the sideline. Like last night, he, he calls me and, and making sure, you know, I'm in the right place, doing the right thing. So we got some great, tremendous leaders. Um, Marcus Epps, Elijah Riley, all these guys ready to compete. And, and we, we all learn from each other. We all pick each other's brains. Um, some of us are better than others at, at certain things, and we try to, you know, learn from that. Uh, we all we all just come together, and, and, and we're a team at it. We're a brotherhood, and um, we don't really – I can honestly feel like we don't, like, feel like a, a true competition as far as the uh, as far as the position-wise. I feel like we just here to, to get better as a brotherhood, get better as a team, and, and trying to learn the defense. You know, this is all our first year under JG, so – um, learning the defense together is, is, is also bringing us together. How frustrating was last year for you, both with respect to your own play and also uh, the one loss record? Um, it was very frustrating as far as uh, my record, um, as many games we lost. And it was frustrating for me uh, going through a pandemic. Um, I didn't have a preseason, so I didn't have a true chance to really prove myself. Um, it's a lot of things that um, last year has, has taught me, but I'm, I'm grateful for it. Um, I feel like it, it humbled me. I feel like it, it put me in a, in a better position to, to, to explode. It's like a, a slingshot effect. I feel like, you know, sometimes God pulls you back so you can explode, just like a slingshot. So I feel like year two, um, I'm going to be a star in the making for sure. Have you set any personal goals for yourself this year? Personal goals? Um, every year I got goals. Every year um, I, I set goals and I pray about them and um, I, I talk to my family about them, I talk to my coaches about them, and even my teammates um, to, 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 to achieve those goals. And I have those around me to, to help me achieve those goals. And like my personal goals is, you know, my personal information. So um, I just, you know, just see it every day and I just try to do my best to go get it. What's your opinion on the, uh, the changes to the NCAA? Uh, name, image, and likeness. Man, one hey, I feel like I'm two years too early. <laughs> That's how I feel. What's the biggest difference that you picked up on uh, between this scheme and the one that you were in last year? Uh, biggest difference? Uh, I really don't know. Um, I feel like a huge difference for me is learning a whole different scheme. And as far as when I came from Clemson, we learned a specific scheme and we had a lot more plays than when I got here the first year. And now I feel like we're going back to, you know, having a lot more plays and, and changing looks and whatever it is. And I feel like this defense that I'm learning is a lot like what I, I grew up on. So um, it's actually like helpful to, to know this defense and, and to really try to master it every day. Um, like I said, it's, it's new for everybody. That's why we, as a brotherhood, try to stick together and, and learn it together. What have you learned from Michael Clay so far? On special teams? Oh, uh, he's just done a great job of making sure my eyes are in the right place. Um, I felt like last year um, I was trying to see too much on special teams, and, and it put me out of position a lot of times where I felt like I can go inside of some plays and I should have been outside. So. Um, he's just been sitting me down and, and humbling me and, and, and making sure that I'm being intentional on my details, really. You've, uh, I think you've gone against Devontae a couple times in, in college and everything. What's it like seeing him out in the practice field going against him now? Um, he's really took it up a notch. I feel like uh, he's, he's getting better, he's getting bigger, he's getting stronger. Um, he's getting smarter, smarter in his stems and in his route running. And um, we always knew, uh, even at Clemson, we always knew he was a, a tremendous athlete. Uh, we was going against Judy, um, Jalen Waddle. Um, so we, we always had to prepare ourselves, but um, he's a guy that, that, that's going to compete and is going to catch everything. And just seeing him grow is, is, is awesome. Um, today, you know, he had a, a nice deep ball that he caught for a touchdown. So just that's great things to see. Um, because, you know, he did that in the college level. Now seeing, seeing him do it in the NFL is, is really special.